Hello everyone, welcome to Sudocoder. This is Ravina, and today we are gonna learn about graphs. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what are graphs? So graphs are basically a hierarchical data structures um, that have nodes and edges. Now, what does that mean? So let's look at this small example here. You can see that uh, it, it has a bunch of nodes. So these orange um, circles that you see, those are nodes and those can be anything. For this particular lecture, I have taken an example of cities. So here you can see that our nodes are Mumbai, Dubai, uh, New York and Chicago. And here you can see that they are connected by these arrows here and those are actually called edges so edges are something that connect two nodes together okay so let's look at what are the types of graphs out there so there are three types of graphs out there first is a directed graph directed graph is a graph where you know there is a pointed direction so the example that we saw previously is a example of directed graph where one node is pointed to another node there is some direction given in the graph the second one is undirected that means that the link can be from one to other a first node to the next node and also from the next to the first because we don't really know the direction that we have to go to so it is undirected so you can go from any place to any place provided there is an edge then there are weighted graphs so uh so Weighted graphs are the graphs where, you know, when you go from one node to the other node, there is a link that is going to join the both nodes and there is going to be some weight on that edge. Okay. And that can be used sometimes to, you know, there are certain uh, algorithms or use cases for those we need a weighted graphs like, you know, uh, going from one distance to the other, finding the shortest path and all that fun stuff. So we will see those examples moving forward. So don't worry about it. So let's see what are directed graphs. We have seen this particular graph before, but just to go through it again, uh, you can see that there is Mumbai. Now in this directed graph, you will see that there are arrows that are pointing to one or the other node. So if you see Mumbai is connected to two cities, one is Dubai, we can see this link here and then the next node is actually new york so mumbai is connected to two other nodes dubai and new york if we look at dubai dubai is connected to chicago so you can go from dubai to chicago if you are at chicago though you see that there are no links that are coming out of chicago so that means that you cannot go anywhere from Chicago. So this is the purpose of a directed graph. It can tell you from which node you uh, from if you, you can travel from one node to the other node and if it is possible. Okay, so this is a uh, example of directed graph. I hope it was clear. Then the next one we are going to look at is undirected graph. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I have taken the same graph. The only change that I have made here is I have removed the arrows that were pointing in the previous diagram. So here you can see that it, it just simply has a link. And uh, here we do not really know if we go from Mumbai to Dubai or from Dubai to Mumbai. And that's what undirected graph is. It doesn't tell you about the direction uh, in which you have to proceed, but it will tell you that these two nodes are linked. Okay, so there is some, uh, there is an edge between these two nodes. So in this directed graph, uh, you will see that New York, from New York, you can go to three other cities, so Mumbai, Dubai, and Chicago, as well as from Dubai, you can go to three cities, Mumbai, New York, and Chicago. So this is an example of a undirected graph. Now, moving on, this is a weighted graph. So weighted graph, if you remember, I told you is that there is going to be some weight on the edge. So for example, uh, if you are traveling between cities, you can consider this as the fare that you need to go from one city to another city. So for example, from if you want to go from Mumbai to Dubai, 
it will require you five dollars okay if you want to go from mumbai to new york it is going to be three dollars from new york to chicago it is going to be one dollar now this weight that we have specified in the graph can denote multiple things sometimes it can be fair to travel from one city to another sometimes it can be actually distance from one node to another node so the weight is actually um gonna be mentioned when you have an example that what the weight represents and it can be anything okay so this is an example of a weighted graph so the some of the questions that you might come across when dealing with weighted graphs is sometimes you will be asked to calculate the shortest distance so you say you are asked to calculate the shortest distance from mumbai to chicago now there are many ways to go through this because this is an undirected graph so one way is you can go from mumbai to dubai and then dubai to chicago so how much uh, distance is that going to be 5 plus 4 that is 9 another way to go to chicago is going to mumbai then going to dubai new york and then chicago so it's going to be 5 2 and 1 so it's 8 one other scenario of reaching chicago would be you know starting from mumbai we go to new york so 3 then we go to dubai and from Dubai to Chicago, so 3 plus 2 plus 4, which is, I think, 9. Now, one last case would be to go from Mumbai to New York to Chicago, and that is going to give you 4. So, you can, uh, you know, you will be asked uh, in a weighted graph how to find a shortest distance, and this is how you solve it. So, in this case, our shortest distance would be from Mumbai to New York and New York to Chicago okay so let's see how can you define the graphs so graphs are designed defined using a dictionary in python so let's take an example here so let's see we have this graph we have a directed graph this time uh, now how will we uh, define this in python so first we write the name of the graph that we want to give so here i just have it named as graph then the next thing is we will have a vertex as a key okay in the whole graph so for example here i have mumbai mumbai is one of the vertex so i have mumbai now which all cities can i uh, travel to from mumbai so here let's see from mumbai i can go to dubai and then from mumbai i can go to new york so here in the value it will be a list and here I can specify the number of cities, not the, sorry, not the number of cities, the cities that I can travel to. So in this case, Dubai and New York. So you see here Dubai and New York. Oops, sorry. Now here you see Dubai. So we are at this node. Where all can you travel? You can see that there is only one edge going out of Dubai and that is Chicago. So here we have just one city that is Chicago. The last one is New York. So here we have New York and there are two links that are going out of New York. So this is Dubai and Chicago. So here you will see Dubai and Chicago. Now Chicago doesn't go anywhere. So hence there is no vertex for it. But if this would have been a undirected graph, each vertex would have been a key and then all the possible nodes that it can travel to. Okay. So this is how you define the graph. This is the syntax to define the graph in Python. The next thing that we are going to look at are some implementations. So you might have heard that graphs are, you know, very useful. They are a very useful data structure. They are used for scaling. So what are the actual implementations for it? So the first thing is social media. Everyone knows about this. Uh, there is Facebook. You have connections uh i mean what uh, i think on facebook you have friends so all these friends all your friends are going to be connected through a graph and same on insta you have followers twitters linkedin you can have you will have graphs that will manage your data and also your followers friends or connections the second example is the internet and the web the web itself is a graph and uh, it has been implemented using a graph recommendation systems 
so sometimes you would see that there are some recommendations that you get from you know uh purchasing something if you are on amazon or google you get you know recommendations saying that okay you should buy this or um you have these comments so this is the uh particular you know the summary of the product details and summary of the reviews so that is the recommendation systems then there is transportation systems and so on i keep hitting next every time yeah so the last thing is how do you traverse graphs so there are actually two ways to do that the first way is using the breadth first search algorithm and the second way is using the depth first search algorithm now i'm not going to go through the breadth first search and depth first search algorithms because i have already covered it in one of my videos so i will link the video in the description below so you can check it out it is really really important for you to understand this algorithm in order to traverse a graph you first must know what is breadth first search what is the depth first search and so you can use that to actually implement a graph and do some operations on the graph okay so i hope this video was helpful to you i hope you learned from this video a little bit thank you so much for watching leave me a like and comment this really really helps my channel and subscribe to my video if you would like to see such similar videos from me if you have any suggestions from me leave them in the comments below as well if you would like to be a part of the community join my discord channel or feel free to connect with me on linkedin okay so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time